26, 2024. And these are examples of the dwarf tomatoes we grew this season. So I'm gonna show you each one, tell you about it, and then I am going to taste each one for you. I've got a little salt here so we can taste it with salt. Um, so starting off with our cherry tomatoes. The Desert Star, the Eagle Smiley, and the Johnson's Cherry are all our cherry tomatoes. They did really nicely. Um, the most productive is definitely the Eagle Smiley and it is the best tasting one as well. The Desert Star and the Johnson's Cherry both have a very tomato-y flavor. They taste like a big tomato. So I like fruitier cherries, so the Eagle Smiley wins on the flavor front. And they were also the most productive and the most vigorous. The Johnson's are also very vigorous. These plants don't look very good. They struggled, but they produced a decent amount of tomatoes, honestly, and they're really pretty. I love the look of them. I wish they tasted better. The dwarf Franklin County is an interesting tomato because if you look at it, it's like a small version of a big tomato and it tastes really good. I like it and I think it looks really good on the plants. They also ripen a little faster than large tomatoes, so it gives pests less of an opportunity to get at them. I'll be honest, we haven't even eaten any of these Gloria treats or the Arctic Rose. We have eaten the Baronia and it's delicious. So we're gonna try these for the first time here. This is my only Arctic Rose, I think. It was not a very productive plant. I think I have a few more out there, like fruits but not as big as that one, and I would not grow that one again here in Florida. I mean, Arctic Rose in Florida makes sense. Um, the winner overall for me is the Eagle Smiley. That's what we're gonna be growing again. The Baronias, the plants look really healthy. They got big um, for a dwarf, you know, like five feet. Um, the Glorious Treat it looked really good, the plants. The Arctic Rose were tiny little shriveled plants that looked like they were suffering. Yeah. So let's get into taste testing these. So let's start off with the Desert Star. So one half we're gonna go plain. It's a tasty tomato. It just tastes like a large tomato. Not a lot of sweetness. Not very acidic. Salt brightens it up a little bit. It's a, a squishy texture and a tender skin. Like, if you dropped it on the ground, I think it would go splat. Like, it would squeeze like flat like a pancake, but you'd have a dent. Let's try the Franklin County. I'm going to let this one sit a little bit more so I can get my while I eat the plant. Mmm. See? That has a richer flavor than this. It tastes like a big tomato, but it's delicious. Um, maybe a little bit of citrus flavor. Mmm. <laughs> That's a good with salt. Yeah, I forgot how much I like these. These and the Dwarf Eagle Smiley, I think, are the best. All right, let's switch over to trying a Johnson's Cherry.
Mm. That's a tasty tomato. That tastes closer to like a Campari tomato to me. That would make a good sauce tomato, honestly. Oh, with the salt? That is fantastic. Oh my goodness. Mm. That is delicious. Now these babies, I've just been like eating them like grapes, but for your sake, I will cut it. This has a stiffer texture than the others. This makes a great substitute for like a store-bought cherry tomato. Mmm. My dad said it tastes like eating sunshine. I agree with him. It tastes like eating sunshine. It's sweet, but with a tomato flavor. It's exactly what I expect out of a cherry tomato. Oh my god, that is so good with the salt. And it's almost a shame just to cut into this, um, just for the taste test, I guess, but we'll end up eating it. But I'm not going to cut it in half and eat half a tomato in front of you. So here we have the Gloria's Treat. It's a good tomato. It's it's like pretty watery. I mean, it's got a good flavor, but it's not as strong as the cherries. Mm. Can't beat a tomato with salt. Mm. That would be a decent tomato on a burger or a sandwich. Mm. Now you can see this one. I'm not even entirely sure it's totally ripe. So we're just gonna bust into the Arctic Rose over here. You guys see I didn't pick a very big piece. But... Mm. Oh, that has a great flavor. And too bad there's so few of those. That actually has a nice citrusy flavor. I like that. That is a very fresh tasting tomato. That would be really nice in a salad or a sandwich. That fresh salsa. Mmm. Mmm. Arctic Rose is much tastier than Gloria's Treat. I would pick that any day if it grew better. How am I supposed to cut this tomato? Right, let's go like this. Alright, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna set you aside. Mmm. That's a meaty tomato. They say this is supposed to taste this like they say this is supposed to taste like a purple Cherokee. I've never eaten a purple Cherokee, so I can't say. But if it tasted like this, it's delicious. Mmm.